G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speak. Today I have another article which has been suggested uh, to me by one of uh, my subscribers. So you know who you are, so thank you very much for sharing this uh, with me. So guys, the reason why I think this is a great article to talk about, and it follows on the theme of the articles that I do um, showcase on this channel, is the overarching theme from Australian media that sort of glamorizes um, only cans work um, and just about almost promotes it um, by showing young girls how much money they can make. I'll also uh, showing uh, no accountability from the women who partake in this line of work. So without further ado, this comment is called Millionaire Corn Star says X-rated career destroyed uh, her dating life. And the quote and the lead line here is, I've never had more men frothing over me on the internet than I do now. And yet in real life, I have less going on than ever before. Shock horror, guys. Shock horror. Maddie Miller is a self-made millionaire who has created the life of her dreams at the ripe old age of 20, no less. She owns several properties and brings in an impressive $70,000 a month thanks to her thriving career as an adult content creator. So once again, guys, you've got to look at this language. Uh, it's, it is done intentionally by these journalists to sensationalize and glamorize this line of work. She's a thriving career as an adult content creator. Uh, this is just a ploy by the media to normalize this. I don't know why they have these artists. It's every day, I do know why because they're trying to normalize this. It's always the same two or three girls that get rotated on here. It's this one, it's the Annie Nightbird, you know, the one who slept with 600 dudes and whatever in a year and all that. And it was the other girl I, I had on yesterday. All right, they sort of cycle through these chicks. Despite her obvious success, the Aussie woman says her controversial career has taken a toll on her dating life and she's yet to find a lasting romantic relationship. Well, hang on, come on, let's be realistic. She's a 20 year old girl. Why would she be in a position to have a long lasting relationship? Many people at this age don't even know what that is, right? They're just learning about the world. I don't know why people are so eager at 18 and 19 and 20 to grow up so quick and wanna have playhouse and have these romantic long-term relationships find it very comical that people want to do that, especially young ladies. It isn't young gents a lot of the time, it's the young ladies, right? They like the social aspect of it. It all went downhill the moment Miss Miller began selling explicit content on a popular subscription site at age 18. Oh, very shocking. Shortly after, she noticed her boyfriend began treating her differently, yes. What guy in their right mind wants a girl? Who is doing that? Whether or not he supports it at the time or not and says that a young bloke might go along with it. A lot of young guys go along with a lot of stuff just to try and just keep a bit of access to action because it's so hard for us to get when we're young men. So guys will put up with any sort of rubbish. They won't question it. They don't want to lose that access because at that age, 18, 19, 20, 21, whatever it is, most guys have a one-track mind. All they're thinking about is the next time they can potentially get some action from a chick. That's it. Let's have a look at this girl. So she has, she, they're trying to make her out like she's um, unlucky in love. Uh, men are, are, you know, they're nasty because they're not accepting her uh, for her job. Obviously, I think it's time to get to it, but her boyfriend is going to probably piss her off. Um, there's something wrong with him. Have a look at this chick. All right, guys, I talk about these kinds of girls. She's going to be a future plenty of fisher, right? An Oasis active special at 40 years old with those tattoos once she's got all the stretch marks and sagging from the four kids she's had from six different dads. <laughs> she has disobedient. That says disobedient across her chest. She has these tats everywhere. Guys, we call these girls gangers. So you guys who aren't from Australia, this is a ganger and a ganger is a junior slurry. It's a slurry in training. It's a very, it's almost like a trailer trash slurry, right? We call them gangers. But this is what we call the blue ring octopus, covered in tats. She has all the hair done, 
right? She has the hair, all the different colors, uh, piercings in her face, uh, bright makeup on the eyes. This is a blooming octopus signaling to you that if you get involved with this, she is going to wreck your life. And the caption underneath this picture, it is just classic, guys. I love it. Adult star Maddie Miller says, being rich hurts men's egos. <laughs> oh, we could, I couldn't care. I couldn't care about the money. She noted at the beginning of their relationship, he was making more money than her and regularly took her out on dates. But once her racy career took off, the roles quickly reversed, eventually causing their relationship to break down. So what he's probably a young bloke, he's probably an apprentice uh, chippy. I'm picturing like an apprentice um, boiler maker, you know, an apprentice um, welder, something like that. And a real rough as guts bloke out in the country, something like that. Probably making 500 bucks a week. Then his miso starts making 70 grand a month selling photos and movies of her doing who knows what's for the world to see for all your dirty pricks at home to jack off your little uh, peckers, you know, and paying her all this money. This only exists because you guys at home are doing it. Look at you going and done. Look at the economy you've created. You've done this. It doesn't exist without you. He started viewing me as competition. Miss Miller told news.com.au. However... The star who creates niche X-rated content featuring her beloved Ford Falcon. How does that work? And how my how ganger is that? She's making X-rated content with a Ford Falcon in it. <laughs> Says she's proud of the financial stability she's been she's been able to create for herself, and won't make herself smaller for a man's comfort. Jeez, this is a great future ahead of this bird. Great future. So what's she doing here? I reckon I, I, what, this is the visual I'm getting here. She's doing all these posing, um, all these explicit acts like on the bonnet of like an AU X taxi and a Falcon AU 1999-2000 model, a faded yellow one. She's got the um, uh, the Playboy bunny ears on the back and the front. You know, she's got some sort of, uh, you know, you see the stickers that some of these gangers are making. It's just like sexy bitch or something like that written on the back. Back window covers the whole thing thinking that it makes them look hot. From the age of 14, so this is what I try and say, you know, she's a really good girl, she's a really hard worker, um, you know, she's proper, she's legitimate, she knows what it's like to work hard. From the age of 14, so school dropout, nothing wrong with that, guys, I was a school dropout at one point in my life. But from the age of 14, she's worked in various jobs, including as a tattooist, an administrator at a golf club, and as an apprentice. So she's had three jobs before she found this, um, uh, the cash cow being the online content creation. All right. So how reliable and how hardworking can you be if you burn through three jobs? Now, guys, I left school. I became uh, an apprentice, um, and I actually did a trade by the time I was 18. I was qualified. All right? And then I went to university back after that. I got no issue with guys dropping out and trying to make money. I just wanted to make money. I wanted to get out and learn. I didn't want to sit in the classroom at that time. I did things in reverse. I always knew I wanted to earn more money than my parents did, and had the luxuries I saw some of my friends growing up with. So I've worked hard from the moment I could, she said. And that is good. Take my hat off to wear good on you. If you want to do things, make it happen. This career, so I'm not going to call it a career. I know it's hard. They don't market themselves. It has a finite uh, lifespan and eventually it has a life-changing consequences. She's not going to be able to have normal relationships. She's going to, she's going to be damaged for life. She doesn't realize that now. She's all, look, at the, look at these photos, guys. This career gave me the chance to take my finances to another level and secure my future as well. Well, hey, if she does invest it, she does say she's got investment properties, good on her for that. She's got at least two brain cells to rub together. A lot of the girls that are probably doing this stuff spend all the money, you know, blow it on cars and uh, holidays and, and bullshit, right? So good on her if she's doing that. Oh, no, she's got a... Is that an AU or a BA? Hang on. Let's just get to that. Since she broke up with her ex, Miss Miller has noticed similar insecurities in other men who struggle to accept she earns more money than they do. No, no, no. It isn't about the money. It's about the vocation. It's about what you're doing for work. Men aren't going to like that. No guy's ever going to like and accept that. You're going to get guys that say they do. They're the guys with no options. They're your soy boy beta cucks. Or they're the guys that are saying that because they want to be there in short term. They want to smash and dash. You know, They want to be hanging around for a couple of months and say, yeah, yeah, it's all good. 
what guy, because what they want to do is have guys say that it's okay to go and do this for work. It's like, it's the same thing. Um, and this has always been a bit of an argument, like stripping or being a, an actual hooker. It's just a job. It's just SAX work, right? It's just a job. It's like going to Coles. You put your uniform on. You go and you, you do your job at Coles. And once you clock off, you put your PIN number into the system. You're done for the day. They're trying to sort of normalize it like that's what it is. But it's not. It never will be. And men will never see it that way. They can try and try and try and try every day to drill these um, articles into our heads for us to, you know, slowly come around. Who knows? Maybe the younger blokes reading this stuff will see the articles every day, how it's accepted and normalized by society and maybe go along with it. I don't think instinct is going to let that happen. We have our instincts that are hard coded into our genome. We're not going to like that. I feel like it hurts their egos. They still have this expectation that, as the man, they should hold the financial power in the relationship. I obviously threaten their sense of masculinity in that way. Hey, if you want to cope that way, go for it. Just like the chick that I had on the 39-year-old one, um, he was carrying on like that as well. They never learn. She'll be uh, 39 saying the same shit. These negative experiences with dating compounded by the already limited dating pool Miss Miller has due to living in a small town in Western Australia, have left her disappointed with her romantic prospects. Well, cause and effect. But there'll still be a million thirsty little simps that'll probably marry it. It's always been ironic to me that I've never had more, that I've never had more men frothing over me on the internet than I do now. And yet in real life, I have less going on than ever before. Miss Miller, who has been single for about a year, said she hasn't single. She just doesn't have a boyfriend. We all know what single means. There's no way she's sitting at home knitting. Um, a lot of guys think when a girl says that they're single, especially a young girl, you think, what's she doing on her Saturday nights and Sundays and nights and things like that, Friday nights? We picture her. We have this idealization. She's going to be there with her mum, and her mum's in her apron, and she's in her apron, and they're next to each other in the kitchen, and the mum's showing her how to make the meatballs the right way and put the lamb roast on the right way and showing her how to sew clothes. That's not happening. She's in the back of the um, XR6. How right was I? I think this is an AU, guys. This is an AU. I'd rather be celibate. Than with a man that doesn't support my career, she added. In the midst of her non-existent dating life, she's still determined to keep growing her career and hopes one day she'll find a man who isn't intimidated by her success and maybe even matches it. Well, most guys are not going to make 70 grand in a year unless you know they have a business. Uh, a guy is not going to be making that much money. At any age, 70 grand in a year, that is like the top of the top most um, esteemed professionals will make that much money. People who are running companies are making that money. So I think she's got to struggle to find that. My dream would be to meet a guy who was also successful in his career and someone who I can build an empire with. <laughs> People tend to look at me, my style, my tattoos, and what I do for work and make assumptions about my values. They're also, they're almost never right. I'm a total romantic. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't like being nasty and I'm not trying to be. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Come on, guys. Do you think she has family values? Do you think that she has um, those nice, warm, motherly vibes that should make a great mother for a child, a nice young mother, um, and she would love to be there and be nurturing and be perfect little Miss Wifey at home? No way. It's going to be a power struggle. It's going to be a power struggle. So it's a blearing octopus once again trying to repackage herself um, and try and dictate what people think of them and double down on it. So she's already getting the feedback from society, um, from men, that she's not an option. But what does she do? No. She raises the standard again, doubles and triples down, and then wonders why she still doesn't get what she wants in another 10, 15, 20 years. Ends up with her XR6 doing seniors only cans you can't make this stuff up i think it's these, these sort of articles really gas people up they're not saying you are making some you're selling your soul you're selling yourself out men are just not going to be attracted to you you look at all those look 
there are going to be some guys who will take this on, marry it, and give it a kid. Like a lot of guys have no standards and they'll just do it because they just want to get a bit of action. I'm talking about men um, who are of integrity, um, a strong honor system, um, and want quality in their life. This isn't it. And I don't think, no matter how much they put these articles out, I can't see men being brainwashed into thinking that this is normal. Because look, what's the theme of this article? It's an attack on men's egos because men are not accepting this sort of behavior as women uh, that they want to take out and commit to. So they've attacked their ego. They've attacked men's, um, what, the financials, right? That's always the throat. They go for the throat, the jugular there, because uh, financials are something that men do value because it's an outcome and an output of their time and effort, um, their skills. So they're saying, I'm better than you just for showing my body. (laughs) I'll make 70 grand. A lot of blokes won't even make 70 grand in a year. She's making it in a month. So she's in dreamland if she's going to find someone. So if she does find someone who's on 70 grand a month, do you think they're going to opt for her and then build an empire with her? Hey, let's co-mingle funds 70 grand a month. She's going to want a guy who makes 100 grand a month. And do you think she's going to be a stable, low-risk bet not to destroy and take all your stuff as well? I don't think so. Hilarious, guys. I just cannot get past that these articles get through the system, uh, a push, and there's clearly an agenda here. Um, hey, you guys in the comments, tell me if you've noticed this as well. A lot of these, um, even around the world, they've got these types of things. I've seen other other guys come uh comment on these sort of articles in different uh, locations, different countries. So it seems to be an agenda here, whether it's womanism, pushing women's rights, uh, there's no accountability. There's just no controls in place anymore. Do you think if they had a guy on here saying that he's a gigolo or whatever, that they'll be pushing that and saying that he's a real good guy and have a kid with him and let him be the father of your, your kids? You know, I don't know. I can't see that happening. Anyway, guys, that's enough for me today. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, And I'll see you in the next one. Once again, thank you for giving me 17 minutes of your day. It is greatly appreciated if you've made it this far. Thank you very much.